So I was just kind of getting them used to using their arms um, with focusing on opening and closing them and picking up simple objects. Um, we'll move to more functional stuff as the week progresses. Um, we just want them to be comfortable um, using their new prosthetic arms. I think sometimes it can be frustrating to pick things up, um, you know, off of a table or to pick up something that's a, a different shape and put it down. Um, and I think that they did pretty well for the first day and hopefully they'll just keep getting better from here. So right now they're scheduled for a week of therapy here um, with occupational therapy and then if they need some help, like they'll go home and practice um, and do stuff on their own and then if they need to come back um, for you know a touch up then they, they can come back and get a little bit more therapy. It was a little bit difficult for them to get to uh, kind of optimize the use of the prosthetic arms right now. Um, they were working on really getting to the end range like and being able to completely open and completely close so that's what we were focusing on a lot um, today um, with the larger objects and the smaller objects oh, oh. good job <laughs> as they try to use their their prosthetic arm for, for functional things it'll just be kind of a trial and error where they see what it's useful for um, and what you know how it's helping their their other hand. Can you just walk out to the hallway and come back? Don't drop it. You too. Good job. But hopefully they they'll have a little bit more finesse by tomorrow, and we'll be able to to progress to more things. Um, you know, like games or things to play with, um, things that are age appropriate for them to help them, you know, be able to do the things that they need to do in life. Believe it or not, I'm helping. What? Can you pull it? You want to look? Oh, 